chicken with garlic and ginger from Madagascar. So this is a new one. Let's see how it goes. Ginger from the streets of Harlem. Everything that comes from there is the best always. So I'm going to go ahead and grate the garlic, skin and all into this bowl. Ooh, it smells good. Of course. So as well as ginger then, it's, um, as I said, garlic as well. So I'm going to use like six or seven garlic cloves and chop it super fine. Hello. <laughs> The chicken has arrived. Is this the right bucket? Yep. Yes. Oh, they're huge. Um, hmm. Well, I got three. Well, you know what? I think I'll just do it like this. I'll just cook them like that. It'll be, yeah. it'll keep the moisture. Keep the moisture. You gotta get this part. Yep. Okay, so thanks to my mom, I don't even have to chop the garlic. That was easy. Hopefully, it's enough. Do you take the skin off the chicken? No, absolutely not. That's where the flavor is. That's where the flavor is, and it heals. That's my mom, by the way. And it heals in the juices. <laughs> the skin does? Absolutely. What? Okay. It heals the juices? Keeps them in, yes. Oh, well, got to keep in those juices then. Okay, here goes the mixing pad. Hi, Mom. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the garlic and ginger everywhere on the chicken. Make them to a rub, it's pretty natural, so. And then I'm gonna put oil over everything as well. Mom, what's the name of that uh, that ginger drink you made? Is it just called ginger drink? That Jamaican thing? So, ginger and, and pineapple. Ugh. Okay, last and one. Turmeric. Oh, yeah, turmeric. It's the secret ingredient. So, I'm sure you could do this with debone. Oh, dear. With debone pieces of chicken. Um, the cooking time would be shorter. However,. I think this looks more authentic to have it the bigger and it'll keep the moisture on the grill because I'm doing these on the grill outside. So. And then you put them in the oven? Uh, you don't need to, but I guess They're going to cook all the way through on the grill? Yeah, of course. Do you wrap them in tin foil? Um, no. I think if you just keep the heat low enough, it gives it enough time. Okay, so I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll be back to put on the oil. I gotta get a bigger salt shaker than that. Yeah, that one's a little bit small, I think. <laughs> I'm sure if you're bougie and you have Himalayan pink rock salt that you crush on the spot, it's better than this, but I just went to the kitchen and got some salt because it's easier. <laughs> and I'm not that bougie. You're not? Um, no, not really. <laughs> At least not with this. Kind of just winging it, which is great. It's fun to do. Just fly it. Something okay. I'm gonna just put on the olive oil. And have this sitting here. We'll see. Um, basically, it's kind of like a marinade, but more like an interesting looking rub. So then I'm going to just cover this, put as much of our mixture on the tops of the pieces as I can, like this, and then it's going to sit there, think about life. Tenderize and I'll grill it. You'll see the grilling process later. Outside, rain or shine. Nice. So here's the chicken on the grill. Um, I think it's gonna take like 
I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. I'm just going to turn the underside of one so you can see. Mmm, it really looks nice really good. And, yep, and I'm going to dump some more of the, uh, oops. Some more of the ginger and the oil on there so I can make the best barbecue ever. So I'll see you back. <laughs> the best black barbecue ever? <laughs> the best black barbecue ever, yeah. So I'll see, um, see you in like 30 minutes and see what this looks like. I'm going to flip it, close the lid, and then eventually flip them over. All right. Bye. So here's the final product, the ginger and garlic chicken, and we paired it with wild rice, and with my mom's special ginger drink that she made, um, that you will see in photo form at the end. So I'll take a couple pictures of the whole meal together, and you can see it at the end of the video. So we're going to enjoy it.